no respect. Lady couldn't even let me back out of the road all the way before she darted on by. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Uh, you know, when I was younger, I used to like backing up trailers. I still do, but every once in a while, you got a job like this. Three pieces of equipment in here. Two of them are rubber tracked, and we got a steel track one. Uh, I tracked in the Takahuchi, and the excavator dropped it off first, and I turned around up there, but backing in that little bit of a distance, not that big of a deal. But I tell you, there is not one spot for me to park anywhere besides way down there. And there's a couple little spots here and there for somebody to pass. And that lady literally parked right in the driveway that I needed and refused to take the hint of use the driveway that I'm pointing at to circle around. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this bird loaded up. As far as the TL-12, I'll probably just, well, I guarantee I'll just drive that thing down to the start of the road. Uh oh, Boone ran down there. Where'd he go? Good boy, Boone. Look at that. That's a good buddy right there. Hanging out in the shade. And then I might have to back this up here again for the 080. Mm -hmm. tied down and ready to rock and roll out of here got two cars backed up there now I understand it's their road they got places to go dang there isn't enough pullouts on these last couple jobs you know like fire fire truck come in here where's he gonna turn around at ain't none of these spots big enough except for maybe two on this whole road that a fire truck can turn around on driveways are all goofy and stuff so they want to get mad at me for them having a small road well yeah yeah I got to pull over and clean the machine off not quite but siphon nose hanging on the back of the machine b-belts reminding me of so I'll pull over up here and dust the machine down, but first track or first rubber track job, tail 12. I actually got to track it in this old road, so that was nice. But not everything's a track machine with rubber tracks. Pain in the butt. So let's go clean this thing off, head back to the house. We've got to come back and get those other two machines today. It is now 2:30. Well, I saved you guys the journey of backing up that time. I messed up twice the second round. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the 80 right now, take it home, drop it off, all to load it back up for tomorrow's job. But I'm gonna put the CMAF head back on this machine and hopefully she stays alive. No blowing output seals or any of that BS. We are loaded up and headed out of here. 080 this time. It's about a 20,000 pound excavator. A 
I'll tell you this right now. If I did this for absolute living, hauling all the time, there's no way in the world I would have those big mega ramps. Especially if I was doing multiple toes a day. God. It's only my second toe and those things will break your back. Head out this single lane road. It's nice and narrow. It's not bad when you're just one person, but somebody else comes along. Screws the pooch, I'll tell you that much. Another kind of a road that's got worse potholes in the blacktop than any gravel road you've ever been on. So you gotta zigzag around them. Put her in second gear and just let the exhaust brake hopefully hold it back. Feels nice having the rubber track machine finally, but that most definitely took the place of uh, the funding for the new Diamond C. Hopefully I get a Diamond C. Maybe something else will pop up in the meantime. Maybe one, maybe somebody's got a new product needs tested out, I don't know. That'd be cool if this channel got to that position where it could test out, review new products like that. But I'll tell you this much, I'm not too interested in making deals for people, for shout outs and stuff like that. It just, I thought it would have been a lot easier, a lot simpler for people just to accept the shout outs and me bannering their name across the videos continuously. I thought that would be enough to make a lot of people happy. <laughs> I'm not signing any more contracts with that crap unless it's something absolutely awesome. Pain in the butt. I'll say it right there. Pain in the butt. I don't think the truck really comes across as stock with that noise coming up that hill. That second gear, I used to be able to pull it in third, but the way the turbo is acting, it doesn't have any low end grunt, so. Like right now, it says it's got eight PSI at 1500, but it just won't pull through. doesn't really start giving anything about it's at 25 psi right now at 1800 and it's losing steam quick says getting fuel you know what I mean well gosh dang that's quite enough backing up for like three weeks worth of backing up now earlier I parked way up there I parked down here this time so people can use this gentleman's driveway and get around me but I almost when I fired the camera up obviously these tow mirrors stick out a decent bit well, that cedar tree right there she almost took my mirror off made it the whole way without touching the clutch didn't have to stop didn't roll forward didn't slip the clutch nothing so third try is the charm got better at it 
See, I brought in one machine and I backed all the way. It's too much backing on this road. Let's go get the uh, TL12 and get her loaded and get on the road now that it stopped raining. Got my jacket out for nothing. Look at that. Blue skies. Right there. What the heck? Huh. Boone. Ah. For Dixie May, right here. Come here, Boone. Come on. Come on. Right here, Boone was trying to take a leak on this tree earlier. Slipped, fell down the hill. Yeah, that was you, wasn't it? Huh. Goofball. change plans I'm gonna take the TL instead of taking it back home uh, we got another job lined out for it so instead of taking it home unloading it and loading it back up probably tomorrow I'm just gonna take it straight to that job right now and be done with it and then when we get her whenever we get to that next job the machine will be ready and waiting for us there yeah, the B-belt just fueled it up so we're good I will see you guys at the next job there is what I think is uh, the closest to a Longmire type of a setting in this area. Love that place right there. I don't know the old boy big barn down there in the bottom. Big old shop. Nice simple house. I don't know if he owns his whole meadow. I would kind of there's old prairie or whatever you want to call it. But I, I kind of think he owns all that. That guy's got the freaking set up right there. I'll give it that. And check out the weather that is not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be sunny according to my phone. Does not look it. Kind of ironic that I'm bringing this machine to this job on this day before YouTube actually started uh, getting views for me. I did a video uh, time lapse backing out of this exact road right here and it kind of went mini viral on Instagram It got like a hundred thousand views um, on uh, Diesel dudes or something like that and Somebody else or something, but I'm not gonna back all the way down in there today because I got the freaking NASCAR Drag race machine of skid steers to just zip in there. So I'm just gonna load out here on the main road and back on in turn around after drag this sucker way down in there but for a skid steer I honestly didn't expect 15,000 pounds this thing it tows heavier than the lamb track it feels like I get back but you can go full brisby on this one and not even take the shades off even though I feel like I might need to confidence people don't touch the clutch just back her up hit your mark now it's spinning now we're spinning we're in the ditch <laughs> The ass end just started sliding out, so.
sunglasses. Sunglasses are throwing me off. All right, we're out of there alive. It's that loose gravel, it's all washboarded right there, so. The SN just started sliding on me. Whole truck trying to counter it. Got a little too close to the ditch. It's 6.30 right now. I saw lightning, thunder, whatever you call it up there. So we're gonna end it right here, guys. Video after this, hopefully I'll get some excavator, forest remulching, BS stuff for you guys. So catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Like, comment, subscribe, washboards. Oh my goodness, four wheel drive. Anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for watching, bye.